the project for today. This sucker. Right here. Now I told you about told you guys about this before. I bought this because I got it really cheap with all my points I had from my Sam's Club credit card. Uh, I ended up paying like $54 for this. The reason I got this is because I wash my mowers usually at the end of every week throughout the season, but pulling out that gas pressure washer and fueling it and oil in it and everything else, it just becomes a real pain in the butt. So I've always wanted to lock her one and I got a good deal on this one, so I figured I'd buy it and check it out. It's 2080 PSI, 1.65 gallon per minute max, and it comes with the three separate tips, it comes with the foam cannon, it comes with a utility bristle brush, and the heavy duty turbo nozzle that rotates. I already have one of those for the other pressure washer, but we're gonna check this thing out. I, I like the fact that it's electric. You just plug it in, and you just flip the switch to on, and you're good to go no no uh messing with a choke no gas no oil no nothing and it's just good to go and it's a lot quieter supposedly so some people say these aren't strong at all and they're not i know someone had an echo one that said they're garbage i know someone had a steel one that said they're garbage um so i'm gonna give this one a shot and we're gonna find out because this would make washing the mowers at the end of every week so much easier and quicker and with the purple power that i use you guys know i I buy the five gallon jugs of purple power and I put it in a one gallon pump sprayer and I missed all the mowers, let it sit for like 10 minutes and then I hit them with the pressure washer and I don't ever have to scrub anything. It takes everything right off and it's the only thing I found that doesn't fade the paint on the mowers. So we're gonna get this thing out of the box. We're gonna hook it up and uh, the walkers are nasty, especially the B. So we're gonna see how well it does. So that's it, it's all together. This piece snaps in the front there. This whole handle piece goes onto there. It gives you seven screws. One goes in there, and then you have one in there, and one in there to hold this whole big piece on. This piece here that holds the hose uh, just pushes on from the front, and you got a screw in there, 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 and there. That just snaps down on. That piece snaps down on, and that piece snaps down on. It has the foam cannon that just kind of goes in the back here that's pretty neat i have one of those already uh, a commercial one that goes in my regular pressure washer i'm not really sure where it's at i think it's up here somewhere it is if i can unbury it <clears throat> it's right there the foam cannon those things are nice they uh they just lay a blanket of foam and they barely use any soap at all and then here's the main power cord for it it is a GFI cord, a reset and a test for it. It is just a regular standard plug. And then here's the three basic nozzles it comes with. And here is the pressure nozzle it comes with. And then you have this piece here that can screw onto your hose for, I think that's for a quick release. I'm not really sure, but if I turn this around, I think it screws onto there and then yeah this screws onto here and then you screw your hose onto there so it has a screen there and then there's also like a little screen type plastic insert in there so um i think that just takes care of the pressure for going into this from your hose so that goes onto there and then this is your gun you just got to screw that piece onto there and then uh put the line in, it just goes in and it clicks in so when you use the cannon off the back same thing you just turn that pop it out and you turn the cannon in and twist it and it locks in um, and then this end of the hose here will just go on right there and that's it so oh yeah and then it has this brush same thing see how it has the notches that's how it goes into the gun right here it just presses in and then turns and it locks in with those grooves right there so this is the brush that it has along with it so i'm guessing it dispenses water right out through the brush at the same time pretty neat i don't think i'll use that very much but well as you can see these suckers are dirty this one's uh had dirt all over it nastiness that caked up crap across the deck 
this one is the worst looks pretty yellow on the camera here but trust me it's not it's dirty it's nasty it's nasty up here it's nasty down here now here's gonna be the test when I spray the purple power this stuff here that you usually have to scrape to get it clean this is what I always get off no problem without scraping any of my mowers. I put the purple power on here, I let it sit for about 10 minutes, I hit it with the pressure washer. And with my other pressure washer, it works perfectly fine. So we're gonna see how well it does with this one. And just because somebody will ask, I know this is the one I buy. Purple Power Concentrate Industrial Strength Cleaner Degreaser. I do not dilute this. I know that'll be asked as well. I put it in a one gallon pump sprayer for like spraying weed killer. And then I spray the mowers down, let it sit for 10 minutes, hit it with the pressure washer. That's it. I never have to scrub the mowers, nothing. Everything comes right off. It's perfectly clean and it does not fade the paint. This season will be my third year using this. Okay, it's hooked up. I have the cord in here. It has a really long cord so you can stay far away from the outlet. The problem is my outlets are up on the ceiling. That's how I have them in here. And that cord is, this box for the GFI is so heavy that plugged in up there, it just wouldn't stay in there. So I could have bent the prongs a little bit and made it tighter in there, but I just ran a cord down and uh, plugged it in right there. No big deal. So I have my hose brought up to it and hooked up. It says you have to squeeze the gun and prime the system first, like you would with a regular pressure washer, and then just flick it over to on, and away you go. So that stuff's been sitting on these for about 10 minutes. Let's see how it does. It'll probably work better if I put an actual tip on it. Okay, so it worked pretty good. It took off all that nasty, grimy stuff on there. There's little specks of it um, that the other one would have definitely taken off and this one didn't. And uh, you know, there's, it didn't get, like down in here in the rims, I can, I can rub that and it'll come off where the other pressure washer would have taken it right off. But I only used the yellow tip. I didn't put the black power tip on there because anytime I've done that in the past, I tear these stickers right off, so. Um, it definitely cleaned it enough that i'm happy with it um 
it did what I wanted it to do and what I wanted to do is just take the nasty grime and crap off of it without peeling all my stickers off which is what I do with the other one. The other good thing I like about it is it's low enough pressure that I can run that wand one hand. I can do it with the full size one, but my arm gets tired real quick because there's so much pressure coming through there. So I definitely like it. Okay, I had to go change. I was pretty soaked, but um, my final thoughts on it, I really like it. I like it a lot. It's nowhere near as powerful as a gas one, obviously, but it's not supposed to be. Uh, I definitely wouldn't go pressure washing decks with it or driveways or sidewalks and thinking you're going to do a good job because you're probably not, even with a good cleaner. Um, but I bought it solely for this machine, That's or for these mowers. That's what I wanted it for, is to wash the mowers. And I think it did a very good job. Um, you're probably wondering now why this one's in here. Okay, so this one's in here because I'm actually how I put some of my decals on there. I'm going to do the same on here. I think I'm going to put a small one and rip that walker off. It's coming off anyway. I'm going to put one there, and I think I'm going to put one across the back up there. Maybe one on the other side. But in the, uh, see that deck come out pretty nice, didn't it? In the uh, fall, I noticed that every, you know, four or five days or so, I was losing air in this tire. And now it seems I'm losing it like... Uh, every couple days so um i'm guessing that it's coming from there i knew i had to bring it in there's a couple scuffs out of it there's like one there and the rim is bent a little bit right there but since it's bubbling up right there i'm guessing that that's it there's a nice slit in the tire right up there so i have to fix that um the tire's like freaking new so i don't want to go replacing the tire I guess what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to break it down off the rim and uh, I'm going to see if I could just patch it. Yeah, see it's bubbling up there again already, so perfect timing, I guess, for washing it. Soap got in there. There's a nice slit right up there. So at least I know now where the tire's leaking. I didn't know before. I thought I was going to have to pull it off and mess with it and figure it all out, but now I know. So there's my issue, and I have to get this fixed. But other than that, this machine is also ready to go. I can't remember if I changed the oil on this at the end of the season. I'm going to have to check that out and see if I did. But um, So that's next. But for right now, I have to go put that plow in storage. Usually I don't put it away until, I don't know, mid-April or so. But I'm pretty damn confident that we're done with snow. So it looks like that uh, snow is done for the season. Uh, the next two weeks is all in the 50s, some days in the mid to high 60s, and I don't think there's even one day that drops below like 38. So, I think we're done with snow. That thing needs to go get put away. So on that note, I'm going to end this one here. I know nothing very interesting today, but uh, I had some screwing around stuff to do, so I figured why not make a video? Um, so you, you know what's coming up next then, and uh, uh, a couple things anyway um gotta do some stuff with this i'll probably film that and depending on how the weather goes this week i have those couple aerating jobs and one or two more cleanups i think to do to get knocked out but uh it'll be it for this um hit that subscribe button thank you guys as always for the support and we'll see you in the next one